If you're dating one of the Kardashian Jenners, you totally have it made. Scott Disick basically gets to ride around on private planes just for being Kourtney Kardashian's on and off boyfriend. But while the self proclaimed lord may be basking in the limelight, we're uncovering his shady side. Disick has a huge preoccupation with Courtney's weight, especially when she's pregnant or has recently given birth to one of his babies. And one of his worst weight related remarks was when he basically told Courtney she should always weigh as much as she did when they first met. He once told her on Courtney and Kim Take Miami, if I would have fallen in love with you a couple pounds overweight, but I fell in love with you when you were super skinny, so. The media also has an undying obsession with the size of the Kardashians' backsides, with The Guardian even claiming Kim, quote, broke the internet with her butt. You guys are famous for big butts. But her. You guys lose your butts, we may all lose their money. So Courtney certainly doesn't need to hear these comments when she gets home, and they're more than enough justification to kick Disick to the curb. Having an issue with alcohol certainly doesn't make you shady, but if you repeatedly fall off the wagon while promising your on and off girlfriend and mother of your three kids that you're getting your act together only to reportedly never really do it, then welcome to Shadesville. And now Scott is starting to get a little sloppy. In 2016, the reality star reportedly bailed on a fourth rehab stint, according to Radar Online. Later that month, he allegedly overdosed on a mix of, quote, booze, cocaine, and Viagra, but was revived with an adrenaline shot, according to Life & Style. By the summer of 2017, Disick was reportedly so out of control that he was allegedly hospitalized and placed in a 5150 psychiatric hold. The Sun reports that he was kicked off keeping up with the Kardashians shortly thereafter due to his hard partying ways and refusal to enter rehab. In a 2013 Hot Living interview, Disick described his typical day, saying he generally wakes up at 10 a.m., then takes three hours to shower and select his clothes, shoes, watch, and car for the day. Once properly accessorized, he spends a grueling five hours telecommuting for his job, about which he says, The truth is, I work in various industries. I have done a lot of private label manufacturing in the nutrition biz and have raised money for startup companies. I tend to invest money into nightlife businesses and whatnot. In reality, the Disick family fortune was made by Scott's grandfather, an attorney-turned-real estate developer who pioneered the development of luxury ski resort communities, according to Wet Paint. So we're guessing that's where Scott's investment capital likely came from. Of course, Disick now makes serious money from The Kardashian Show and its various spin-offs, a reported $4 million per year, according to TMZ, not to mention up to $100,000 a pop for those infamous club appearances. All of this is to say that his entire livelihood depends on keeping his arguably toxic relationship with Courtney on the air, as well as partying nightly in Vegas clubs, which isn't exactly ideal for someone who struggles with substance abuse. This is far from the shadiest thing Disick has ever done, but we think it's worth mentioning. According to TMZ, Disick demanded a $500,000 fee to appear on season 22 of Dancing with the Stars. That's far more than what the show was reportedly offering, which was a quote, $125,000 guarantee. And if he made it to the finals, he'd get $345,000. So I'm just I, saying I do your get shot. a little bit of the wrong impression, I think. Sure, he could have easily made that money getting hammered in a Vegas nightclub over a long weekend. But let's look at the facts. Billy D. Williams did a Star Wars-themed cha-cha for way under half a mil. And according to Variety, even former White House press secretary Sean Spicer only stands to make a maximum of $295,000 from the series in 2019. As far as we're concerned, the Lord isn't worth anywhere near the holy water he bathes in. The only thing shadier than Disick constantly referring to himself as Lord is the fact that he actually found a loophole to literally become a Lord without actually doing anything at all. This is for you. We're bringing back the Lord. According to Us Weekly, Disick was obsessed with becoming a British royal during a trip to London that was featured on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Instead of marrying into the clan, the reality star fast-tracked his ticket to the top by purchasing the title on the internet and having an authentic knighting ceremony. He still hasn't been given the keys to any castles, but he's made his fake knighthood an entire brand. Becoming royal is really gonna get the respect that I deserve. I need to be walking around like royalty. 
Beyond annoying the cast of Keeping Up by walking around with a cane, he bought velvet slippers with his Lord moniker and snatched up the Instagram handle, Let the Lord Be With You. Sadly, Lord Distix's cultural impact is pretty much limited to private plane selfies and hair vitamin ads. Disick told Holt Living that for him, the quote, biggest choice of the day is the wristwatch. He wears lavish fur coats, and his everyday runaround car is his Bentley Mulzahn, for when he just doesn't feel like getting out the rolls. His Instagram is nothing but private jets, luxury cars, and designer clothes. Oh yeah, his kids occasionally make an appearance too, if they can squeeze into the shot with a luxury ride. We get it, Lord. You're doing well. Look at you, this is what you do during the day, you lay in the sun and you tan? On top of all that, Disick once flaunted his wealth by being horrendously rude to a waiter. After getting blackout drunk, Disick was cut off at Kris Jenner's request, according to People magazine, at which point he became enraged and, quote, tried to shove a $100 bill in the waiter's mouth. But did he feel bad about it? Hardly. He told Kim, Courtney knew exactly the person she was with when she met me. And I will never say back things that I do, but I need to do them. After an hours long rehab stint in July 2015, Disick reportedly ran straight into the arms of an ex girlfriend and chose to party in Monte Carlo instead of spending the 4th of July with his family, according to TMZ. Though this was the first time real photo evidence of blatant PDA was available, it was the last straw for Courtney, who, as of late 2019, has not taken him back. But it's just been a really hard time going from like having all of you guys to having nobody, you know? Prior to getting caught red-handed, reports that Disick cheats have been frequent. Almost every time he goes out of town for a public appearance, sources later claim Disick acted on his wandering eye. Disick has three kids with Courtney, Mason, Penelope, and Rain. After allegedly ditching them all sometime in late June 2015 to party in Europe, Disick supposedly still chose to steer clear even when he returned to the States. You know this is gonna be like the longest I'm away from the kids in court, <sighs> ever. He even missed Penelope's birthday, but no biggie because he fired off this since-deleted message to her on Instagram. One of the only things I'm proud of about myself. Happy B-Day, P. According to People, Disick reportedly duplicated his 2015 disappearing act again in the summer of 2017, with sources telling the magazine, quote, the kids hadn't seen him for weeks. Like years ago when I was like younger and stuff, I don't know that I've been like motivated to like do all these things for the kids. Supposedly, Disick is now keeping a low profile and spends time with his adorable kiddos. But even Courtney was skeptical of this new Scott. A source told People magazine, Courtney is still not happy with Scott, but that's not the focus for her. She wants the kids to have the best relationship with their dad, so that's her focus. I did not know how to be a dad and how to take care of kids and how to be there for them, and I feel pretty confident that I'm able to now. What's the worst possible way to get back into the good graces of your estranged ex-girlfriend? If you guessed by going on vacation with her sister, then inviting some random girl back to your hotel room, you win. And that's exactly what Scott did during Kim's trip to Dubai. What the f*** are you doing here? According to E! News, Kim acted in surrogate outrage for her sister when she confronted Disick's mystery lady who had locked herself in the bathroom. She said to the woman on the show, Get your and security will escort you the f out of here. Courtney responded by allegedly uninviting, then reinviting Disick to the family's upcoming Costa Rica trip. But you'll never guess what happened next. No, you're gonna f die. What? So Scott flew out a girl. Disick apparently doubled down when he showed up for the family's 2017 Costa Rica trip with an uninvited plus one. And if this dinner isn't awkward enough, these fire dancers have to come out and start doing hula hoops. I mean, I already felt like under fire. With the ordeal playing out on an episode of the show, the needle on the shadometer started moving when Disick chose to stay at a different hotel than the rest of the Kardashian crew because he couldn't, quote, handle staying under the same roof as the love of his life when he can't sleep with her, according to The Cut. 
The shade deepened after Kim's assistant reported that a woman named Chelsea was staying at Disick's place, which the sisters dealt with by throwing water in his face, then continuing to hang out with him for the entire trip. <laughs> <laughs> that was for Dubai. In fairness, a later scene portrayed Courtney coolly informing Disick that she'd reached her limit with his shenanigans and there would be no reconciliation. We need yeah. to just move on. Perfect. Disick acted like he was totally fine with it, but his actions a few months after the trip spoke much louder than words. After several months of estrangement, Disick jetted off to the Cannes Film Festival with then 19-year-old former Disney starlet Bella Thorne on his arm. But after a few days, she reportedly got burned out on his hardcore partying and split, at which point Disick paraded a steady string of bloggers, models, and social media stars in front of the paparazzi. According to E! News, this list included Chloe Bartoli, the ex from his 2015 European romp that effectively ended his relationship with Courtney for good. You know, when I was at Cannes, I mean, it wasn't good to say the least. But this wasn't the first time Disick did the model shuffle for the Paps. Back in February 2017, he was spotted in Miami partying with multiple young, quote, mystery ladies, according to E! News. It just looked like it was some big soap opera going on. It was like a fun show. Disick's string of day dates in Cannes ended with 18-year-old Sophia Ritchie, who partied with him on a yacht but denied any romance by tweeting, Scott and I are just homies. Relax. But it would seem that they were much more than that. Are you dating one person? Is it? Huh? I guess we know who it is. Yeah. As of late 2019, Scott and Sophia are officially a couple in spite of their 15-year age difference. But we're not here to judge. It wouldn't necessarily be all that shady for Disick to be hooking up with Richie if it wasn't for the fact that she dated Justin Bieber, who's been previously linked to Courtney, making this whole thing once again seem like a revenge-fueled plot by the Lord of Shade. Of course, that's all pure speculation, but he did wind up taking Richie on a vacation to Finland with Courtney, as depicted in a 2019 episode of Keeping Up. He reportedly called the family vacation a, quote, really awkward situation, while Courtney claimed she thought it was bizarre. Scott really wanted to come with us to Finland, so I don't know why he's just having such a negative attitude. We hope, for Richie's sake, that Disick has finally gotten his act together and will do right by her. However, we have to say that we share the sentiment held by her famous dad, Lionel Richie, who told Us Weekly of his daughter's new guy, I'm scared to death, are you kidding me? Be calm. Just be calm. Disick's shady side might come out when he's drinking, but it seems like his younger girlfriend has helped him change his ways. According to Life & Style, Disick celebrated Sophia's milestone 21st birthday in August 2019 without taking a sip of alcohol. Disick reportedly didn't touch the hard stuff, while Richie allegedly took, quote, shot after shot at the day club. A source told Life & Style, The two spoke often, but Scott maintained his distance, while Sophia did shots and partied. Scott was definitely letting her have her fun while he stayed off to the side and sober. A second report by Radar Online also gives us some hope that the Lord is reformed. His spin-off show, Flip It Like Disick, was reportedly withheld for two years by Kris Jenner, who wanted to make sure the star wasn't hard partying before giving it the go-ahead. The show premiered in August 2019 after Disick allegedly, quote, snapped out of it and transformed himself. During a 2019 episode of Keeping Up, Courtney even admitted, I mean, it's really nice to see how much Scott has grown and how much like he's invested in really being a great dad to the kids. Looks like there's hope for the Lord yet. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!